A jobless wanderer, aimlessly roaming the streets, stumbles upon a peculiar finger. Intrigued, he takes it back home, planning to research what this odd find might be on the internet. However, a mishap occurs as he accidentally spills alcohol on the table. To his amazement, the finger absorbs all the spilled liquid. This magical sight leaves the man dumbfounded. Treasuring this newfound item, he cautiously places the finger in the refrigerator, eager to witness its next mysterious act. Yet, upon reopening the fridge, the finger has inexplicably vanished, and the remaining food is scant. After a thorough search, the man locates it sunbathing on the floor. Astonishingly, it has sprouted a new finger. The man, fueled by curiosity, reaches out, only to find the finger responding by grabbing onto his hand. Far from being frightened, he exhibits excitement. The finger grows rapidly, in just 24 hours, it transforms from two fingers into a complete arm. Filled with anticipation for its final form, the man freezes the arm in the refrigerator. After a few days, while sipping water, he hears a noise from the fridge. Rushing over, he finds the arm missing. As he turns around, he notices the window glass shattered. It appears the arm has departed. The man looks somewhat dejected. However, at night, he was once again awakened by strange sounds. Thinking that a burglar might have entered his home, he cautiously approached with a gun and a flashlight, nervously checking the surroundings. The floor was covered in bloodstains, leading all the way to the refrigerator. Bracing himself, the man opened the fridge and was shocked to find a creature inside. Its heart was still beating, covered in blood, and it clutched a handful of hair, evidently, this was the final form the finger had grown into. After closing the fridge, he noticed a heart on the shelf. Confused, just as he was contemplating the situation, there was a knock on the door. Two police officers stood outside, showing him a picture of his ex-wife and informing him that she had been murdered a few hours ago. Even her heart had been removed. The man, upon hearing this, immediately shut the door. Considering the heart on the shelf and the bloodstains on the creature, he seemed to grasp what had happened. It was the creature that had killed his ex-wife. Upon reopening the door, he appeared genuinely saddened, yet he chose not to reveal the truth. Instead, he fervently implored the police to find the murderer, seeking justice for his ex-wife. After the police left, he quickly changed his demeanor from sadness to joy. The reason for this sudden shift was the revelation that his ex-wife not only cuckolded him but also bore two children who weren't his own. This was the reason for their divorce. Unexpectedly, the creature had seemingly taken care of his problem. Anticipating the police's return, he began searching online for ways to cover his tracks. However, just as he woke up, the creature emerged from the refrigerator. It roamed the room, seemingly looking for food. The man glanced over, and the creature suddenly pounced, leaping onto a chair. This terrified the man, but the creature appeared to mean no harm, even mimicking the man's scared movements. Witnessing this scene, the man gradually let go of his guard and attempted to communicate with the creature. Although the creature couldn't speak, it seemed to understand him. The man then took a photo of it and gave it a nice sounding name. Bob? It's like that. To eliminate all evidence, the man cleaned up the bloodstains and threw the heart into the trash. In the following days, he treated the creature as a pet. He discovered that the creature had a peculiar preference for sitting on the couch, munching on popcorn, and watching melodramatic soap operas. One day, the man received a phone call. Thinking it was the police, he was surprised to find out it was a debt collector from the bank. Frustrated and unable to repay his debts, he vented his anger. Regretting not having found a stable job on LinkedIn, he didn't realize that the creature, engrossed in the soap opera, witnessed it all. It seemed to understand the man's predicament. Thinking he had scared the creature, the man tried to comfort it by holding its hand. Little did he know that the creature was up to something. The next morning, the man found a bloody tongue on the table. Panicking, he opened the fridge and discovered the creature lying peacefully inside. He instantly realized that the creature had traveled thousands of miles to deal with the annoying debt collector. At that moment, the man finally understood that as long as someone displeased or offended him, the creature would lend a helping hand. On a day when the man almost got hit by a pickup truck while heading out, the driver not only refused to apologize but also got out of the vehicle to berate him. After exchanging a few heated words with the driver, the creature went out in the evening. It not only brought back a hanging ornament from the rear of the pickup truck but also a corresponding body part from the driver. However, the man's worries grew when the two police officers returned, inquiring about photographs of his ex-wife's two children. 
Although he tried to come up with an excuse to mislead them, the blood on his body drew their attention. You got something in your shirt. Oh yeah, uh, that's just a red sauce. After managing to send the police away, he discovered that the pictures of the two children were missing. It seemed that as he suspected, the creature had taken care of his ex-wife's two children, bringing back trophies as usual. It appeared that the creature was on a mission to eliminate all potential threats. Unable to avoid the inevitable, the man quickly dealt with the aftermath. Suddenly, the wail of sirens reached his ears. Clearly, the bloodstains had betrayed him, and he couldn't escape the clutches of the law. The arriving police officers apprehended him on the spot. However, in a desperate attempt to escape responsibility, the man cunningly argued that he hadn't committed the murders, it was all the creature's doing. He even claimed that the creature would come to his rescue.